As a prelude to the P4G summit, Seoul is hosting a series of forums on a wide range of climate-related matters. The fourth session today of Green Future Week focused on reducing carbon emissions in the shipping industry. Participants discussed zero emission vessels and bringing shipping into the digital world. So in Young reports. Wu Shins, the fourth session of a week-long series of climate forums ahead of the P4G Seoul Summit, explored ways to make the shipping industry carbon neutral. In the session on Wednesday night, themed Building Back Blue Earth Through Oceans, the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries released its plans to reduce maritime carbon emissions. In 2019 alone, Global greenhouse gas emissions reached a new record of 59 gigatons. Out of the 59 gigatons of greenhouse gas emissions, around one gigaton comes from the maritime transport sector. If we hesitate to act now, greenhouse gas emissions from ships will make a quantum leap to reach the extent of 10% of global emissions by 2050. The minister said that South Korea is determined to decarbonize the shipping industry and establish a green maritime supply chain in support of the Getting to Zero Coalition 2030, which aims to make zero-emission vessels commercially viable by 2030. In the short term, South Korea is set to expand the share of ships fueled by low-carbon energy such as LNG to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And in the medium to long term, the country aims to carry out research and development of zero-carbon technologies aimed at the full caramelization of ships running on hydrogen or ammonia. The session also suggested the digitalization of the shipping industry to help make it more environmentally friendly. The harmonization and the standardization of digital technology and the user interfaces will support safer and more environment-friendly shipping. The Secretary General of the International Maritime Organization, Ingetech, added that starting next month, the IMO is planning to adopt measures to cut the carbon use of all ships. Participants stressed the importance of joint action, saying that the goal of zero emissions cannot be achieved through the efforts of individual groups alone, and therefore continued cooperation is needed. Seon Gyeong, Arirang News.